have the play, it's necessary to introduce a villain. Necessary to introduce a certain element of trouble. So, in the whole scheme of life, there has to be the shadow. Because without the shadow, there can't be the substance. Because, you see, it's always the devil, the unacknowledged one, the outcast, the scapegoat, the bastard, the bad guy, you see, the black sheep of the famine. It's always from that point that generation comes. So this is why there is a very strange association between crime and all naughty things and holiness. Well, you see, holiness is way beyond being good. Good people aren't necessarily holy people. A holy person is one who is whole, who has, as it were, reconciled his opposites. And so there's always something slightly scary about holy people. And other people react to them in very strange ways. They can't make up their minds whether they're saints or devils. Everybody has in himself an element of duplicity, deception. Because you see, from this point of view that I'm discussing, where the web is the trap, to be is to deceive. The chameleon who changes its color. Think of the butterfly pretending it has eyes. And then you find, well, uh, it's all a deception. Now then the question arises, who's deceiving who?